This is our new foal. He doesn't have a name yet. Um, but I'm going to go over how I start my foals off with imprinting. Um, basically, you want to work with this foal as soon as possible. Um, within that first hour of a foal's life, they have no fear and they bond to anything that's large around them. Um, so if you can get to them within that first hour, it's very helpful because in that hour they'll bond to people, you know, and they're going to bond to their mom. Um, it's important that you'll have two handlers, someone to work with the baby and someone to hold mom if you're working within the first hour. Um, because in that first hour you're going to want the handler holding mom to keep mom's head with the baby's head so that he attaches himself to his mom as well as people. Um, if you do not get to him within that first hour, fear will start to set in and he might be a little bit skittish about being touched but the process is all the same. Um, so basically what you'll do is you're going to want to rub him all over, you're going to get inside of his ears and you're going to rub him until he relaxes and then you'll go back, easy boy. Okay, so he's not freaking out so I take my hand away and then I'll go back in again. Okay. Remember, you have to do both sides. It's all right. Um, it's much easier to work with your foal laying down, um, and you want to keep him laying down. So if he's struggling, I'm going to put pressure on him to keep him down, and when he stops struggling, the pressure goes away. Um, it's going to teach him at an early stage that people are dominant. Um, uh, be careful when you work with your foals because they do like to throw their heads up and, you know, they can get hit you in the nose pretty good. Uh, one thing you want to do is doing the hand up over the head, you know, because when you want to slide the halter up, it'll help for halter training. Um, you're going to want to stick your fingers in their mouth, help for worming. Um, for shows, they're going to have to check their teeth, so you want to play with their mouths as a, uh, as a baby. Um, basically you want to rub them all over and you'll rub them until they relax. So if he doesn't like to be touched, you're going to rub him until he relaxes. Um, you want to hoof pick and you'll want to tap the feet to simulate like a farrier and you're going to tap them until they relax and you'll take it away and then you'll put it back up. Some foals may take longer than others. This particular foal is very laid back. Um, I've had foals that are very spirited and they're very feisty and they fight you a lot and it just takes longer. Um, you're going to have to do more taps with them, more rubbing. Um, you want to rub under the tail, put some pressure under that tailbone just because it's going to help out when you someday put a crupper under his tail for driving. Um, you want to get down here by his privets. Okay, in case you have to clean them or any, any kind of situation like that. Um, rub them under the throat latch. You want to rub them everywhere because they're very, very sensitive. Um, and you can, and you got to do both sides, so, come on, we got to switch sides with you. He's Switch highly him. relaxed. Switch him around, okay? Now, he's very relaxed. Um, when you do this, you know, you might have to stand up yourself because he'll get real feisty. Um, but the minis are real easy to make him lay down. Have your hand behind their butt and on their front end here. Just up and down. Just like that. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, and you're going to rub them all over. In the ears. Ears are very important just because it's very hard to um, clip them. So get those ears real good. Tap those feet. Tap the feet. You can rub the feet. Okay. Rub them all over until they relax. And he's very, he's a very good baby. Um, um, another thing you're going to want to introduce him to as soon as you can is, you know, after you've done rubbing him down, you're actually going to want to use the clippers. 
Um, if you have a March baby, you're obviously not going to want to clip hair because it's a little cold out. But he's a June baby, so I've clipped some hair on his legs. Um, so you're going to want to run them. And you want to rub them all over with them, rub his legs. And he doesn't like this on his legs, so I'll hold it until he relaxes. Take it away. Put it back on. Boy. Sorry, kid. Switch it around so I can trim a little bit of hair here. All right. All right, baby. Boy. Ah, see a struggle, so you're going to keep him down. And then when he relaxes, and I'll take the pressure off of him, but he has to stay down. Boy. The legs and the ears are the most important thing that you're going to want to use these clippers on. It seems to be their hardest thing to um, accomplish. Good boy. Very nice. Good boy. Okay, and for their ears, I like to just hold it away from the ears here like that so they get used to the noise right next to them. Um, you want to get this on their face. You're going to have to be careful because they do jerk like that, okay? That's very common in bulls to jerk. It's all right, sweetheart. Forehead. Come on. Okay, remember you'll have to do both sides with your baby. shoulders is where their mom rubs them to reassure them, so it's a good spot to rub them around. I can take them and stretch his legs out here so I can do a front leg if I like. If you can get your fool within the first hour and do this kind of clipping on them, that information will stay with that fool for life. Um, you can do this within that first hour and not touch your fool for five years. And then you bring him back up from the pasture and this will come back with him. It stays with him. So that's why it's so important. Um, the first three days of a fool's life is a crucial time because they just soak up so much information that's just going to stick with them. Um, another thing I like to do is flexing while I have them laid down. I'll literally pull their heads like this and flex them. Boy. Okay. Good boy. When he gives. Okay. When he gives, you're going to give his head back. Good boy. You're a good boy. Mm -hmm. Good boy. Okay, you can um, introduce his halter. Um, I like to work with my foals at least three times a day. You know, I like to work with them in the morning, 
Um, I like to work with them around lunch and I like to work with them in the afternoon. So, um, they do better with like 15 to maybe 20 minute sessions. Um, not super long sessions. Um, he doesn't like his halter very much. But he was just born yesterday, so he's doing good. Good baby. Good boy. on him. Good boy. Always rub him. Always reinsure him. I start my halter training by doing the flexing. Good boy. Now he's he's barely a day old and I started doing this yesterday with him. He's catching on very quick. And then he gives his nose. I give his head back. Good boy. Good boy. If you do this with your foal, it's going to be very easy to halt or break him to walk with you because he's learning to give to this pressure. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. I'll even um, put pressure on his pole like this to put his head down. Keep the pressure. Keep the pressure. Good boy. You're trying, you're trying. like it's a good one um, you don't want him you don't want to let him release when he's struggling so you want him to be relaxed like this easy boy you're all right I also don't want him to think that as soon as that halters off that I get to run away so he just needs to relax. You're okay. Yes. And he can go see his mama if he wants. But that's that's the first part of your desensitizing and imprinting with him. You're gonna want to do that um, at least every day. Um, for the first week, maybe even two weeks if your foal doesn't catch on quick. Um, this particular foal is very intelligent. Um, we'll see how he progresses. Um, but that's what you're going to want to start off with with your foals. Mm -hmm.